who I am. My name is Chase Gillis, and I help people, if you're a person who stutters, like you, I help people like you overcome stuttering authentically. And we do this by working together. We do this by accountability. We do this by me sharing with you the exact steps and the exact process that I went through to overcome my stutter and hold your hand along the way to make sure that you overcome your stutter as well. And what I'm going to share in this video right now, or first off, if that's interesting to you and you want to have the opportunity to work with me, you can look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one on one call with me to see if we, we would be a good fit based upon the situation you're in right now. So I'm going to break down right now the three things that are necessary in order for you to go to your natural state of confidence. That's the first thing you must know. We are not achieving anything right now that isn't already natural inside of you. You already have what it takes to be an amazing speaker. You can do it in a room by yourself completely fine. There's just interference in the way that is stopping your natural flow of speaking from already coming out. The interference is doubt, fear, and anxiety. Expectations and your own intentions of that have been created because of this fear and anxiety and doubt. You are already perfect. You're an already perfect speaker. Now, what we're going to do or what you must do in order to remove this interference is address three things. The first thing you must address is the value you're placing on other people's judgments on you. When you are when you are valuing somebody's judgments of you all the way up here and you value yourself down here, you're constantly putting people on a pedestal because they don't stutter. Like the most, <laughs> the, the weirdest, not the weirdest, the most interesting and insightful phen phen phenomenon is when people are around other people who stutter Oftentimes, that's when they're the most fluent. Because you are, value, you are valuing fluency so much that you put people on a pedestal who speak fluently, but other people who stutter, you value less because they don't have that one trait. So you feel more comfortable and you judge their opinions of you or you value their opinions of you less because they're not fluent. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? But that's the way it is. You are valuing fluency so much, so you are putting people on a pedestal who speak fluently. And you give them so much power and ownership over your emotions, over your self-worth. You must learn to remove that. You must learn to re re remove the obsession about pleasing these people about proving yourself to these people about not showing your flaws to these people and this is done through through my work through a progressive desensitized 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 desensitization process in order to get to a spot where you feel completely free and this this is completely free of trying to prove, please, pretend, and perfect around these people. And that's the same process I need to go through. Okay, so that's the first thing you need to address. The stupid amount of value you're placing in other people's opinions or judgments of you. The second thing you must address is the, <laughs> the relationship with your stutter. I already briefly talked about this, but you are viewing fluency as good, stuttering as bad. That is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. Why? Because you are the driver behind that. 
You are the driver behind fluency and behind stuttering. You are the one that's dictating that based upon your own internal emotions and sensations and doubts and worries and thoughts you're feeling in this present moment. That's what's dictating the stutter or fluency, the state that you're in, the thoughts you're thinking, the emotions you're feeling. And if you are valuing when you're fluent more than when you stutter, you are consciously, but more importantly, unconsciously reminding yourself the only one version of yourself is acceptable to show. And this will cause you to fucking tense up like a crab anytime you feel like you may stutter, which is going to cause you to stutter more, which is going to cause you to shell up and not show your true self when you feel like you may stutter. And that will not allow you to overcome your stutter. To overcome your stutter, you must learn to be expressive and express all states. Even the state that you feel ashamed of, you must learn to express it into the light. See that you're still accepted. See that you're still loved. And your brain will understand, I do not need to resist these emotions anymore. I do not need to pretend like it's not there because it's safe to show. And actually, when I show it, I actually feel fucking amazing because I'm not judging myself off of fluency or, or not fluency or, stut or stuttering. I am valuing my, my, if I speak my truth or not. I'm valuing if I'm being authentic and expressing who I, my, my radiance right now. If I'm expressing my, my sensations to this world and I'm being authentic in that way. And that is when you gain your power by remaining in your authenticity. And the third thing that you must address to be confident to be this natural flowing speaker is to look at your beliefs you have about yourself. Your negative beliefs and, and your self-doubts you hold about your capabilities and about who you think you are. Beliefs that like people don't want to hear you speak. That when people, if they get to know you, they're going to be bored of you. That if um, when you stutter, this means that people will like you less. Like these are all beliefs that I had in my mind that I had to switch. It's like... Whatever we constantly think to be true, we will make it true. So even if it's not true, if we believe it's true, we're going to find the truth in it. Meaning if you stutter and you have the belief that people will not like you when you stutter, even if you stutter and someone smiles at you, <laughs> you're going to perceive that smile as fake and you're going to reinforce your belief you have about yourself that they're faking that they like you meaning that this stutter is something to hide meaning it's something that's going to disconnect you from people so you need to hide your stutter more because of this belief you have about yourself and your stutter and your speech you need to be aware of the beliefs you have because once you ingrain better beliefs about your authenticity about I don't want to give like I don't want to give away the the all the best beliefs right now because it'll be a disservice to you because you didn't pay for it. You don't value what what you don't invest something in. And that's why I coach. That's why I help people is because when they sign up with my coaching, it's like, "Ah, oh, fuck. That kind of hurt to pay for." Depending where you're at, of course, but there's still that, that transaction and creating leverage of yourself that I paid for something. I don't want this to go to waste. I'm going to pay attention to what he's saying and I'm going to value what he's saying. I'm not saying you, you don't value what I'm saying, but I'm saying if I tell you everything that I tell my clients right now, it would be a disservice because you wouldn't actually be 100% consistent the way that my clients are. But just know you must change your beliefs. Just know if you have negative beliefs about yourself, it's going to reinforce your character right now and make you stay in the same spot you're in right now. So if this makes sense to you, 
and you want to stop caring so much about what other people think of you you want to change your relationship with your stutter and you want to remove your negative self-talk and negative beliefs and anticipation and replace it with positive ones true ones then again you have an amazing opportunity right now it's my fucking life purpose to help other people like me overcome their stutter the same way i did not through speech techniques but by addressing the real root issues that is stopping your natural fucking self from showing if you want the opportunity to see if we would be a good fit to work together look at the closest link down below in the description and you can book a free one-on-one -on -one call with me we will see if we would be a good fit to work together on a call and um, we may be able to work together and that would make me so happy that'd make me so happy i get so thrilled whenever i work with another person because it's also so helpful to me seeing you transition from hiding to expressing your true fucking self is just it's just like it almost makes me cry it's so fucking beautiful to see and i'm so invested in seeing this version of you come out so if you're fucking serious and you say enough is enough let's change this shit up you want to take action book that free call with me and i will talk to you very fucking soon all right see you later i love you